Big bass! Yes! Big bass! All right, guys. We are here, we are at Howie's Tackle and Archery Shop up here in Green Bay, actually Sturgeon Bay. We're going to go inside here and pick up some live bait because we are going to show you, hopefully, how to catch some big pike here in the Sturgeon Bay Shipping Canal, dragon meat, dragon meat for the meat down beat down. We'll, we'll see what happens. I got my right hand man, my partner in crime coming with me all the time, Andy. Hopefully we're going to catch them. We're going to try to get a pike video done during the day and then we are going to try to maybe do a walleye video at night. Both Andy and I are 50 plus year olds on zero sleep. But you know what? We're living the dream, baby. Let's step inside the bait shop. So the plan of attack is we're going to try to catch some big pike in the canal here. I started guiding here, I don't know, maybe 20 years ago. and. You can actually fish for pike, but we're not going to keep any big ones or keep any females. We might keep, do a little catch and cook. I don't know if we catch a medium sized pike. Pike are phenomenal to eat. Um, it's a really easy way for you to bring beginners out here and catch fish. So we'll see what happens. We'll try. We're just hoping to catch a couple and uh, we'll go from there. Guys, one important little tip I want to tell you is you see that channel marker right now? There's a, I can tell now that the current is going from right to left. So when you're going to come and drift, you always want to drift with the current. Watch these channel markers, see which way the current is flowing. And when you're going to make your drift, always drift along with the current. Because the McScrillage and all the food that they're eating is usually just drifting right along the fish, go nose or belly into the current. That's the way they're going. You just drag that bait or your caster bait right across there or cast it on an angle and whack, spat, crack, beat down, beat down, whatever we want to call it. So that's just a little tip. I'm always paying attention to which way the current is. When you fish in the shipping canal too, you get what's called a sesh. And the sesh is the current will flow this way for about an hour, two, three, four hours, and then it'll stop and it'll rip back the other direction. And then you gotta adjust and make sure you're always drifting with the current. Andy is gonna deploy the drift socks. Now drift socks are pretty important when it's windy. Here's why, we've got current that slides through the shipping canal here. And what we're gonna do today is we're basically just gonna kinda do a controlled drift or a slow troll. We're gonna drag several live minnows, one in the back, one in the middle, one in the front. And we're gonna just drift from the start of the shipping canal here going into Green Bay, maybe all the way down to the mouth of getting close to Lake Michigan. Now there's big pike in here, there's smallies in here. This is one of those techniques that, let's say you're getting out fishing with your grandpa, your girlfriend, your kids, and uh, you know, it's, it's an easy technique for catching fish. And a lot of times, as you know, in any sort of sport or in fishing in general, there'll be one guy catching them, one guy doing really good because they just got a certain cadence or they got the right bait. This is one of those easy techniques that you can come up here and catch big fish, dragging live bait. Been dragging live bait for customers for 20 years. It works really good. We're gonna show you how we hook up some bait drift along and hopefully the fish bite i'm going to show you how i hook these things on you can use a circle hook or an octopus hook here basically i'm just going to go through the lips like this i have a two-way swivel i've got 20 pound fluorocarbon leader and then i've got like a 15 pound mono line here and what we're going to do is we're just going to drop drop the bait down got our drift socks here so we're just gonna go nice and slow and I'm gonna drop the bait down put the clicker on I like having a clicker and a soft soft clicker and what happens is when that fish hits that clicker will go out and then we'll it just gives you an alert system that you got a fish on you're ready to rock so we're gonna let out three lines like this with live bait and then we're gonna do some casting I got one looking at it here he comes. Got him. Yep, I think it's a walleye. I just 
some on the live scope. Fighting like a walleye. Yep, walleye. Some on live scope. On the bottom or was he up? Uh, he was near the bottom. Sweet. A male spawned out. We'll take them and maybe bake them. There you go, number one. Yay! There he is. Got him. Yep. Another nice one. That's a good one there. That's a good one. Feels like another big walleye. Oh yeah, that's got weight. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice, no, it ain't that big. He thumped it though, pretty good. Oh, it's, a nice it's a nice one though. Nice fish, all right. Fish number two. All right, guys, I gotta show you a little something different here, what we're doing. Oh, nice. oh that is a nice fish, yeah. wow. There's the bait, that's a bass bait right here. That's a dark sleeper. I'm gonna give Andy one of these to throw in a little bit. That's a spawned out, nice sturgeon bay walleye right there. It's a nice fish. Gonna get her back. And there she goes. All right, so let me show you how I'm fishing this real quick. What I'm doing, guys, is I'm just looking on live scope to hunt these fish down. If I see them, let me see if I can see one. I'm not seeing a lot of them. So when I see a fish, I bomb it out right to where that fish is. Let it go all, oh, there's one right here. Here's one right there, right now. 70 feet away, so I'm gonna reel up real quick and show you how I fish it. Maybe I'll get lucky. I'm using 16 pound fluorocarbon leader. Where did he go? Right. Oh, here we go, here's a fish. On the live bait. I believe this is a fish. I believe this is a fish, guys. Yep, on the live bait. So I'm gonna let him take it a second. Dr check the drag, drag's good. All right. Just starting to get into them, I think. I'm just gonna do a long sweep. Watch, so I'm gonna reel fast and then sweep. Here we go. I got a broken finger. There he is. Oh yeah. There he is. That's a nice walleye too. I got a broken finger and a walleye on. It's windy as snot, guys, but we're catching them. We're out here in Sturgeon Bay right now. We're dragging minnows and throwing swim baits. Andy's got a minnow in the back of the boat. I got some in the front of the boat. The minnow rod, oh, that's a big head shake. Ready with that net, Andy. Just, yeah, leave that rod and grab the net. I don't know if that's a pike or a walleye. You don't know what you're gonna catch here. Big pike, it's a pike, look at that. All righty. Nice pike, nice pike. All righty. Yeah, that's a nice pike. We got a little sinker, single hook, minnow. Same here, two-way swivel. I've got 20 pound test. And what you do is you just, we're just drifting right through this whole channel. This is the shipping canal right here. It's a dredge channel going through here. We're just using the wind. We're drifting through here. And we've got one rod in the back pointed off the back, one rod in the middle. And then I've got this rod right in the front. So we're really covering the front, the middle, and the back. That This boat's 20 feet long. That rod off the back of the boat is sticking off eight feet off the back. This rod right here and this rod holder is sticking off eight feet off the front and then one right in the middle. So we're covering like 35 feet as we drift this way. And we catch big pike here, you catch big walleyes here, and you catch smallies here kind of on the mix, either on a swim bait or live bait. Probably about a 34, 35 incher. Green bay pike, green bay walleyes. 
came up to Sturgeon Bay. We're looking for big pike. We're looking for walleyes, dragon. Oh! Hey. Come on now, sweetheart. I'm gonna let you go. As you can see, those pike, they will chew up your hands, definitely. And I will say this, guys, you always want to have something like a first aid kit in your boat or alcohol swabs because I have had several horrible infections, fish bacteria, all sorts of staph infections. I was in the hospital for three days earlier this year from water. You know, that's why I wear a lot of gloves most of the time. All right, so a lot of you guys are probably asking, you know, about the bait. So first of all, this is a Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. What I did is I, I just took the tail. I don't know if you saw my last video where I spilled dipping dye all in my boat. Uh, dipping dye stain is still there, but I just dipped the tail in it. And then I've got a 16 pound fluorocarbon leader FC sniper. And I just want to show you real quickly how I'm using this. Now, that last pike I caught, I actually saw on live scope and I casted to it. And basically, even if I don't see the fish, I'm bombing it out. We're fishing anywhere from 18, I don't know, 15 to 20 feet of water, right down the edge of the channel here. The channel's kind of dredged. We notice that a lot of these fish are hugging either up on the flat or on the edge of the channel right now. And as it warms up, these fish will slide down into the channel too. But I'm letting it go all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm just giving it a little pop and I'm reeling real slow, like a goby would be. This imitates a goby. Just swimming on the bottom, just a little snap, little snap. When we were catching those walleyes yesterday evening, you know, we were kind of snapping it, snapping it a little bit more aggressive last light. But here during the day, I'm just kind of crawling it along and just giving it a little pop. There's really no wrong way you can work this bait. But if you notice somebody catching fish a certain way, you definitely want to kind of duplicate exactly how they're fishing. The same stroke, the same technique, the same speed on the retrieval. Retrieve. I'm using 10 pound Power Pro, just a medium seven foot action rod. You can put the berries to them. That's about it. Yes, Andy's on. Yeah, big, big bass. bass, big bass. Yes, big bass. big bass. Yes, first big smallie of the year. Oh yes, Andy. That's a big one. Hell yeah, buddy. Wow, look at how pale he is. That's a five all day. There it is, it just, Andy switched that bait up. Look at how light, yeah, thumped it. Beautiful, nice, big, small, heck yeah. Let's get a quick pick and we'll get her get her back, eh? Yeah. Whoo, all right guys, we're here at Beach Harbor Resort. We're staying right here, love this place because you can launch your boat right here at Beach Harbor. See that? And you can go out, Andy and I were fishing earlier today. We just got here, we were out right over there for a couple hours, caught some pike, smallmouth, walleyes, casting. We're doing a casting and dragon minnow video for whatever bites. And we're gonna try to go cast. We got about a half hour. We're gonna try to go cast out in the bay here for a little bit. Then we're gonna do a separate video tonight, trolling for big monster green bay walleyes. We're gonna try to do two videos while we're up here. But if you do come up here, make sure you check out Beach Harbor Resort. They got a bar, fish cleaning station, everything. That's why we love coming right up here. And the fishing is awesome right here. You can rent a boat. There's also really good shore fishing up here up in Sturgeon Bay in the springtime. Big smallies coming up here a little bit later, later on in May. Are you ready, Andy, for the meet down beat down or what? Let's go. Are they gonna bite tonight or what? They're gonna bite. If Andy says they're gonna bite, you know they're gonna be they're biting. Gonna go. Here we go. Look at that, Andy is on right away. Andy is on and got a big one. He's got a big one. Was that your first cast? <laughs> oh shit, Andy. Is that the first time you've used a dark sleeper? Yeah. So what do you think of the dark sleeper? Oh my God. Are you, are you a believer in it? Oh my God. Right? It catches everything, dude. Lake trout, brown trout. Mega Bass makes some awesome baits. They're not a sponsor. They're hair, very expensive, but. I had hair jig on today. I had rip and wrap on today. I had. <sighs> swim bait on and as soon as i flipped onto this I'll yep well you saw me catch it a couple i'm like here you go andy oh i got God. two of them the beat down starts with my man andy oh, he's on this is the one we want that's it brother this is it this is, it. This is the donkey did he thump it or what oh, thump. Dunk, dunk. 
I might need to grab that bait back since I can't find the other one, Andy. That's all right. You can only let your friend catch so many fish before you got to take your baits back, right, guys? All right, guys, so leave me a comment. Where are you guys watching from? Where do you guys fish? What do you fish for? And what is your PB walleye? Oh, wow. Tell me, what's your PB, Andy, what's your PB walleye? 12, 12 something? Change. Was that when we were up in Marinette many years ago? That's one of them. Yeah. Okay. Mine is 14. We had two 12s that day. Yep. Mine is 14.8, guys, from Sturgeon Bay here, right in the canal. Big one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice, Andy. Nice big walleye. Let's go. Oh, that's a donkey. Yes, Andy. Ooh, that is a big fat mama. That's what we're oh, hell yes. Let's do a quick measurement. I'm saying 28. What do you think? Uh, 29, 30. 30. Oh, oh just shy 30. No, oh, she almost touches 30. And then, oh, right over to 30. Hell yes, Andy. Hell yes. You can get her back, heck yeah. Dude, what a stud. What a stud. What a pig. Oh, there she goes. There he is. Nice job. Yeah, it is. Beatdown continues. You can leave that one. Yeah, just grab that net for me, buddy. You, you get, yeah, yeah, I got one. Yeah, sorry again, man. I didn't mean to like pull up on you. I just, we caught that fish and since uh, you're being cool, I guess we'll just hang out together. Right? Nice, look at the way that fish choked it, Andy. Look at this, guys. They are thumping it. You think they want the dark sleeper? Andy's got the three ace. I have the half ounce. It doesn't matter. Ty over there, he's throwing a rip and wrap. I just think if you're out here right now throwing hair, rip and wrap, blade bait, paddle tails, I don't think it's gonna matter. I think you're gonna catch them. Beautiful fish. Andy's on. They are chewing. <laughs> look at that. Pretty, look at the colors of that yeah, thing, bro. A nice gold one, huh? Yeah. Yeah, nice fish, buddy. Beautiful, eh? Hey? Great colors. Nice job, buddy. All right, let's get back to fishing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shit. Oh, shit, Andy. What do you got? What the hell do you got? What the hell? Are you kidding me? You got another freaking hog or what? Okay, okay. Well, I'm thinking you got yourself a hog. What, you got a whitefish maybe? maybe. The way it's it fighting? It feels a lot bigger than a whitefish, but it could be. What the <laughs> hell do you have? What do I have? Leave a comment below. Yes, right? Whatever it is, it's got some power. Yeah, it, it does. But it takes off. There's a kick to it. Maybe you got a big brown trout or something. I don't know. Yeah. Hell yeah, Ty. All right, I'm going to grab the net real quick. This, this, if this is a walleye, it's going to be a tank, bro. I mean a freaking tanker. What does Andy have? Is it a trout? Is it a pout? Is it a walleye? Sasquatch. Is it a crop eye? Holy shit! Oh my oh. god! <laughs> on that thing. I know! Oh my god! Pick that thing up, dude! Big fat pre-spawner. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, that's a nice fish, probably 27, 28 incher. Awesome. 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 There he is. Oh, that feels okay. Not that big. Go ahead, keep fishing. I got it. Last light. If you want to just net him real quick, that'd be awesome. 
Oh, big suspended fish in front of me. Oh, now he's fighting a little bit. I don't think he's that big. Can you just hand me that net real quick, Andy? I don't know. We're getting, we're losing light here, guys. Last light, we said we'd come out here for 20 minutes. It's been about 25 minutes. It's getting dark, so we're gonna finish up this video tomorrow. Look at that, green and gold. He thumped it too. He thumped it. Can't even see the bait. You know they're chewing it when you can't see the bait. Okay, just another five pounder. There you go. Look at that. Last light, Green Bay walleyes. All right guys, we said we were gonna come out here and cast for the last 30 minutes of light. We got some food at Beach Harbor Resort. We caught a few fish in the canal earlier. We're gonna try to shoot a walleye video at night trolling. So we're gonna mix it up to a walleye video and then we're gonna do part two to this video tomorrow. Cause we only got out here for half a day today. We're gonna finish up this video casting. Hopefully get some more dirty 30s tomorrow. So good job. Part two coming tomorrow.